one second bond second bond now the bond becomes a little difficult to understand and do the work over anyways let's try and understand this let me take say for example sdt stands for settlement date because again we will be using this we will be using this ourselves we'll be using it we'll be manually doing it rather than using the calculator settlement date is sdt coupon is going to be the amount of coupon rdt is going to be redemption the uh, redemption date that is a maturity date of the bond rv is going to be standing for your redemption value the percentage of par value i'll do a sum and i'll work it out for you let me just sorry second bond let me just start off let's say i want a bond to be maturing on let's say today is 25th of june 2017 i okay sorry and let's say the bond is going to be maturing on let's say 31st december 2035 right so now let me try to get these values on the screen for you all right so the settlement date is 31 sorry 31 full stop 1 2 3 5 right enter 31 12 2005 is a settlement date no that is a redemption date sorry my mistake i'll rectify it 31 dot 1235 31st of december 2015 is your redemption date start settlement date that is we are talking about today settlement when we are buying purchasing selling the bond that is 25 dot 0617 is your settlement date coupon is going to be let's say let's say the coupon is going to be entered as just a moment let's say nine percent semi-annually i'll enter coupon as nine R uh, redemption value is going to be let's say thousand because thousand is going to be my face value that i'll be recovering at redemption now is it going to be the payment will the coupons sorry be paid on an actual day basis or a 360 day basis second enter that is set you can set the actual number of days or this much days let me keep it actual everybody with me scroll down is it the coupon is going to be semi-annually or one annual payment one per year or two times per year right semi-annual let's go down yield for computing yield i need to write yield so that i know the price of the bond or i need to put in the price in order to compute sorry second bond uh, settlement date today i'm purchasing the bond the coupon is this the redemption date is this recover recovery amount is this redemption value sorry actual days semi-annual now either you put yield and get the price or you put the price and you get the yield you have to enter one let's say i put nine percent as the i had put nine percent i believe as the coupon right yes so let me put eight percent as the yield my bond value should be higher in that case more than thousand enter compute there's some problem accrued interest is 4.37 accrued interest is 4.37 for these five days remaining just a second just a moment i have to keep it 100 We'll have to keep the redemption value as 100. You have to do the calculations for a 100 par value because the coupon I entered, please understand over here, please, please over here. So I entered was 9. So the coupon is 9 per annum. So that is a dollar 9, not the percentage terms. In case I enter this as 90 and then I enter the uh, redemption value as 1000. If I enter the coupon 90 and redemption value as 1000, and the yield is 9 then the price is fine but if i enter the coupon as 9 in that case the redemption value has to be on a base of 100 and then i can get the price let's say the yield is 8 percent and then the price is 109.57 everybody following this part you enter yield you get the price you enter price you get the yield let me put the price over here and calculate yield 
that is 8.99 just a bit of rounding of error everybody is comfortable also there is something called duration which you'll study later and the duration gets computed automatically in the bond so duration will be covered in the fixed income section and the duration gets automatically calculated for you are we all comfortable till here are we all comfortable till here everybody comfortable everything i think we've covered more or less all the functions over here just a second let me just clarify uh, let me just cross check if we've covered everything